Hello, Leo. Welcome to your first half of October of 2023 spiritual advice reading. For the Leo reading, I've been guided to the Sacred Traveler's Deck by Denise Lynn. So, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Leo needs to hear this spiritual advice most during the first half of October of 2023. Taking shelter. So, this picture is really jumping out at me. I feel like we have a Leo who is shining their light on this house out in the country. Um... Waiting for some information regarding maybe home or family in the very beginning of October of 2023. In the thoughts position, we have the rainbow jumping out here and the beautiful peacock. So fellow travelers, recognizing support as you shine your light on a new direction, uh, there is uh, this aha moment with the rainbow that others are supporting uh, this change, these changes you are uh, creating for yourself at this time. In the relationship sector of the circle spread, others are seeing you as this wise leader energy. Uh, you are a beacon to others, and that's why you have these fellow travelers, this support uh, coming towards you in the first half of October of 2023. Creatively, we have a very powerful energy for Leo in the first half of October. Spirit saying you are strong beyond measure. I feel like there is a feminine and a masculine. He's going towards her with that lantern shining his light on this home environment. And she is uh, very strongly going into the direction of him uh, or others recognizing there's a lot of support, almost like stepping into your ego, letting your light shine, feeling powerful because of something that you have created here. So this could be a change in the area of home or family. In some cases, it could be a change regarding business. Now in the actions position, finding one's sanctuary. So that's what I'm feeling like. Someone is shining their light on an environment, home situation, uh, maybe even business for some, where you know that you know that that is your sanctuary um, and that you're taking leadership over going into the direction of your sanctuary and you're feeling very uh, secure and supported. <clears throat> Emotionally, we have the crossing bridges, all right? So there may even be some form of a bridge situation. I noticed that there's a gate here by the house, uh, but there is this message from spirit that as you cross this bridge into the direction of this new home or business situation or family situation, it is definitely a time of healing. It is definitely a time to connect, um, mend, and then release all that was, because it's time for new chapters, and in this case, uh, it's about taking shelter in a beautiful sanctuary and just recognizing the support of others. In the subconscious position, we have a very focused energy. A message from Spirit in the first half of October for the collective Leos to hold the course and trust that you are stepping into uh, a beautiful sanctuary, that you are... Uh, healing that it is time to release what used to be so day to day we have faraway places someone may be thinking about traveling somewhere at a distance but spirits saying get ready for new horizons stay the course uh, eventually you will find your sanctuary you will uh, recognize how far you've come um, so just hang in there look at this in the inner strengths position something may not be unfolding as quickly as you had expected but it is all happening in a very divinely timed way so definitely spirits giving the collective leos in the first half of october the strength to go slow and take your time to trust that uh, through the signs here as you get ready for some form of new horizon and hold the course, uh, there's going to be all kinds of support and healing and the releasing of maybe having to wait 
Okay, look at this. We've got the New Horizons card in the day-to-day -day aspects position, and on the bottom of the deck, we have Vast Vistas, expanding one's horizons. So you are being protected by the angels at this time. Uh, blessings will start to shower into your life. Slowly but surely, you will overcome whatever obstacles have been uh, in your way. So in the meantime, you know, go deep. Um, think about and plan what this chapter is going to look like, you know, what kind of furniture um, or location uh, you're needing to plan for. Because right now there's this process of choosing your path uh, and embracing the enthusiasm of this transformation, right? Stepping into unknown territory, a path you have not yet walked before, but sitting in this energy of peace and solitude, waiting for the joy and delight to arrive. So something's coming. It's just not happening as quickly as this particular Leo would like. And the, the reason for that is because it's all being divinely timed. There may be some things you run into along the way, and that's because Spirit's trying to make sure they get taken care of. If we move too quickly, uh, those things could show up later in a not so positive way. Oh boy. So for the collective Leos, we had a card jump out of the Gilded Tarot deck by Gerald Marchetti, and it's the Queen of Swords. So yeah, uh, the answers are within you. Set to meet goals daily uh, in a very uh, structured way, in a very balanced way. Uh, maybe even watch your words a little bit because, again, uh, you know, something is unfolding. It's just happening in a divinely timed way. So if you are feeling a bit conflicted at the beginning of October and maybe a little bit sharper, intense, Spirit's saying just enjoy the shelter you are in. Trust that uh, you will receive a lot of support very soon, a lot of, uh, yeah, success. Oh, my goodness. So we have the Queen of Pentacles in the Thoughts position with the Fellow Travelers card. So we have, again, uh, someone here who's trying to get some information um, and Spirit saying, you know, the answers are within you. Slowly but surely, you will step into the direction uh, that you've been wanting to go, into the direction of the Queen of Pentacles, a more financially abundant, stable, or secure type energy. Um yeah, if this if you're looking for a job, spirit is saying there will be support here. If there if it hasn't shown up by the beginning of October, maybe around the second week of October, where you're going to be offered a better position of abundance, uh, a greater title or pay. Look at that. When I said that in the relationship sector, we have the 10 of pentacles. See, you are a wise leader, and as you step into some form of new direction here, you're going to receive some form of support. It's coming to mind, and then it's coming into your physical realm in relation to another or others. The Ten of Pentacles is like a light at the end of the tunnel. This is what I've been waiting for, and now I am feeling very abundant and stable. So, yeah, it may take the first couple weeks of October, but remember, Spirit saying subconsciously, Hold the course, trust in the answers within that support, supportive communication is going to come to mind here and a path of abundance uh, in relation to someone else is what's going to help you to cross this proverbial bridge. So creatively, we've got the eight of pentacles. Someone here uh, is researching some form of offer, opportunity or direction in the area of money, home, business, things of the material. Okay, slowly but surely what you are creating and, and, and researching and, and preparing for is bringing you into this more powerful energy of uh, leadership. Okay, slowly but surely you're taking leadership over your path and you may be receiving an opportunity from this masculine that comes towards you with uh, an offer. Now, in the actions position, we have the Five of Cups energy. So we do have someone crying over spilt milk. This is what I feel like. There's not a lot of action. There's just a message from spirit to just uh, open up to your spiritual source. Watch for the signs. Trust that as you plan, uh, eventually the communication will come that you are waiting for. Uh, but don't cry over the little things. Uh, watch your words. Trust that. There is actually this spiritual transformation taking place in the emotional aspects position. It's time to heal, mend, 
release and now connect with this next horizon in your life. In some cases, it's a faraway place. See, we are helping you, Spirit Sane, to heal from the past and to now go into the direction of a happily ever after with the Ten of Cups. Slowly but surely, uh, what you are waiting to unfold will unfold. There's just a little bit of research that's needing to take place here when it comes to the creation of some form of new horizon. Subconsciously, we have a gift from the universe in the form of the Ace of Swords. So stay focused, hold the course, and trust that a path of victory is about to open up for you that will help for you to cut away from this moment of uh, in between day to day yeah nine of wands as you set and meet goals day to day trust uh, that eventually you will be able to lay down the process of manifesting this and step into the direction of this ace of swords a path of victory that you have been guided to wait for it's like wait for it get ready for the new horizons yes so after the nine or ten of wands all that hard work and effort in the area of home or business there is going to be a gift from the universe in the form of passion and excitement home and family so spirit saying it may be a bit of a foggy journey in the first half of october but go slowly and take your time Trust that Spirit's helping you to hold the course and wait until a path of victory develops and then you can step into your power. Then you can step into this energy of a happily ever after. Then you can get excited about this Ace of Wands energy, a path that's going to grow and develop in the area of home and family and business for the long term. So in a three-card summary with the same Gilded Tarot deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Judgment card. Yeah, there's a lot of playful energy going back and forth because there's this goal in mind to step into the Nine of Pentacles energy of financial independence and stability or creative change in the area of home or business. Someone's feeling stuck or trapped in their circumstances and are focused on the Three of Swords, heartache, the things that aren't turning out as quickly as you would like. See, someone's trying to go quickly into the direction of getting more information, having a conversation. But remember, the Knight of Pentacles is slow-moving energy when it comes to money or things of the material. But Spirit's saying there will be a soul connection or you're already in one. There will be the Three of Cups energy and opportunity to celebrate some form of abundance and stability see slowly but surely awaiting an opportunity to celebrate uh, your efforts finally paying off there's that ten of wands i was just talking about so day to day spirit saying get ready for new horizons for eventually you can lay down what weighs heavy upon you in the area of home family or business eventually with the eight of cups energies you can walk away from a path that no longer fulfills you emotionally uh, so don't keep yourself up at night worrying about how or when or all that stuff because you have the magician energy spirit is helping you with the major arcana the magician lead to slowly manifest a path that is blessed, uh, a path that will last for the long term, um, a path that may just seem a little bit foggy at this time. If you're waiting for additional money or someone else's, uh, that may be a part of what this slow process is about, but Spirit's confirming with the Fool energy as a major arcana that they are helping you to manifest a brand new chapter in your life. So yeah, uh, judgment, waiting for final decisions, uh, maybe even needing to kind of reflect on decisions made in the past. Um, I feel like waiting and making decisions about the future and then wanting to share this information with uh, family, friends, children, and so on. So Spirit's really offering the Leos. The High Priestess energy is a major arcana. This is beautiful. As you sit in between one financial or home situation or another or business situation or the other, 
the high priestess energy is about I am taking my thoughts and I am manifesting these things in my physical world. And as I plant these seeds, I trust that eventually things are going to speed up and then I can finally take action. So we now have with the ace of pentacles, three aces, the ace of truth and victory, the ace of passion, excitement, home, family, and business, a path of money and abundance that will grow and prosper. So yeah, you have been giving birth to this uh, horizon for yourself. Spirit is assisting you with the major arcana, the empress. Uh, but there is either fear or just some really negative energy of I want what I want when I want it. <laughs> okay, so wait for it. That communication is coming slowly but surely regarding money, especially or some form of investment. Justice is going to turn in your favor. A doorway is going to eventually open and then you can lay down the swords of inner conflict regarding communication and step into the spotlight which is your natural energy of the element of the sun so trust in this in-between moment that vast vistas are blessed they are being put together in a divinely timed way so that you can move forward into a sanctuary of happiness where the old energies fall away where there is forgiveness and the release of all that used to be all right so i'm going to close with a message from the guardian angel deck by doreen virtue Closing message for the collective Leos regarding the circle spread we've previously discussed for the first half of October of 2023. Five of emotions. See, so someone's kind of just feeling down. We have this masculine really helping, hoping, trying to lift her up, but she is feeling down. We've got the five of emotions or cups in the actions position as well. So spirit saying take action to stop crying over spilt milk. Trust that slowly but surely new horizons are going to open up for you. It's a great time to forgive. Uh, all that used to be because it's time for this new chapter for the collective in this number seven year of 2023. It's a great time to forgive yourself and those around you for any mistakes of the past so that everyone can move forward uh, together. Grieving is a normal part of life. So if that is what you are experiencing in the first half of October, ask your angels or those who love you because we've got support with the fellow travelers card in the thoughts position. Ask them to help you through this process so that you can get back on the path towards joy. See, eventually we're coming out of this foggy energy in the inner strengths position and you're starting to see more clearly Things from a completely different perspective. Leo, you're going to find you have a blessed gift to see past current circumstances or situations and to instead envision amazing possibilities, even if they have not yet unfolded. Do not worry, the card says. For this pause and momentum, while you rethink your plans, will not last. Embrace your uniqueness at this time and allow it to serve you. Because eventually there will be out with the old and in with the new. Should these messages have resonated for you in some way and you have further questions about your own personal journey and or would like just a general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one half hour video readings and they are a one month, three month, six month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. I am now offering the winter special, which I'm sorry, fall special, which is a 15 minute one month video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for your likes, your shares and your subscribes. But most importantly, to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day. Take care and God bless.